Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss how to do a dimensional synthesis by graphical method. Two graphical methods to do the synthesis. First is the inversion method, second is the relative pole method. So firstly let's do the synthesis of mechanism using inversion method for four bar mechanism. So here we have the statement synthesize a four bar mechanism by a method of inversion. The data is given length of fixed link is 100 mm. So let's just write down length of fixed link. I'm going to put the symbol D for fixed link is equal to 100 mm. Then the input link is 30 mm. So input link length is given also. So that is A is equal to 30 mm. Initial position of input link is 30 degree. So theta is given 30 degree. Next is second position of input link from initial position 30 and 60. So theta 1 is given then theta 1 2 is equal to 30 degree and theta 1 3 is equal to 60 degree. So from initial position the next position is at 30 degree and the next position is also from initial position at 60 degree. Then second position of output link from initial position is equal to 20 and 40 degree. So phi 1 2 is given 20 degree and phi 1 3 is given 40 degree. And what they ask determine the length of coupler link that is B and C output link. Also the initial position of output link. So let's just start how to draw it. Firstly draw a fixed link AD having magnitude is given D is equal to 100 mm. So I have drawn here AD fixed link with magnitude 100. Now again link AB initial angle is given equal to 30 so that uh, at 30 degree let's just draw AB having length magnitude of 30 mm so here we have theta 1 30 degree and this is the link A1 B1 let's just put the initial position symbol 1. Now what this says that the input link second position is from the initial position. So second position angle theta 1 2 is given 30 degree. So let's just mark that 30 degree angle and draw a line having magnitude equal to a1 b1. This angle is theta 1 to 30 degree. Similarly from initial position again we have the next position with an angle 60 degree. So again this angle is equal to theta 1 3 60 degree. Now to take this magnitude equal to a1 b1 for the second positions I will just draw an arc just extend this line and you get the second position so here we get B2 and here we have B3 now join this B1 B2 and B3 with D1 with fixed link so here with only one line we have join so this is line for b2 and here we join b3 with d1 now from this d b2 let's just take an angle equal to theta sorry 513 and draw a line 512 now from this D1, B3, let's just take angle equal to 5, 1, 3 and draw a line. 
just try arbitrary line this angle is equal to 5 1 3 ok now just take your compass from point B to draw an arc which cut the line of 5 1 3 at a point and that point is B2 dash similarly by using of compass from point B3 draw an arc which cut the line of 5 1 3 from the output positions and mark a point B3 dash now join this B2 dash with B1 and B3 dash with B1. Join B3 dash with B1, B2 dash with B1. Now, now draw a mid normal to this B1, B3. So here I am going to draw in. mid normal from this point. Similarly, from this B1, B3, just draw a mid normal. And extend this mid normals. They will intersect with each other at one point, and that point is the point C1. So here we get point C1. Now just join D C1, then C1 with B. We get A1, B1, C1, D1. 4 bar mechanism now when we measure this angle this is the phi initial position is equal to 30 degree now this is your question initial position of output link so we get this phi equal to 30 degree now let's just measure this b1 c1 it is equal to 12 centimeter so we just write down b1 c1 is equal to 120 mm and output link d1 c1 is equal to 50 mm so c1 d1 is equal to 50 mm phi is equal to 30 degree in this way we will complete the four bar mechanism three positions by using of inversion method. I hope you get the concept. Thank you for watching video.